Hello Pixel Enemy, Don't Blink here again with another Battlefield Bad Company 2 gameplay commentary for you guys. And today I am playing Hardcore Squad Deathmatch on Isla Nascentes. And in just a few seconds I'm going to commit an awful, awful spawn kill. And I feel really bad about that. I commit another one later. Um, but I really don't know of any better way to deal with that situation. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. But... It's not like I'm going to wait for him to start firing at me and unnecessarily put myself in harm's way. I guess I could retreat behind cover and come back later when he's kind of regained his bearings. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I try and be sportsmanlike whenever possible. But uh, I don't want to give up a kill or give up a death even worse just because I'm trying to be fair and balanced. But... Squad Deathmatch really does show some of the flaws in the spawn system in this game because the random spawns in this game mode are some of the worst I've ever seen in a video game. People think that Modern Warfare 2 has bad spawns. Try this game using only random spawns because if this game didn't allow you to spawn on your squad, it would probably have the worst spawn system of any first person shooter ever. And I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, today I'm using the recon kit with the Gall Sniper Magnum, MP443, C4, Explosives Upgrade, and Magnum Ammo. And I know I just put up a video here on Pixel Enemy of me using this class setup. Um, but the reason why I wanted to post this video is because it's the first really good match of hardcore mode I've ever gotten. I've never really been a fan of the hardcore mode in any first person shooter. Just because they take away a lot of the things that... Um, the standard softcore mode has and I find it really difficult to get used to it um, especially when it comes to radar I make heavy use of the radar in just about every first person shooter I play and uh, having that taken away from me really does throw me for a loop and it kind of puts me out of my element and especially when you're playing as a recon it, it also kind of nerfs your uh, motion sensor so you do get that audible beeping when somebody's within range of your motion sensor, but you have no idea where they really are, um, so it can be pretty difficult to pinpoint their position. But um, I'll tell you one thing, hardcore mode does really make sniping a breeze, <laughs> just because it's a one-hit kill to any part of the body at any distance. And right there, that was a nice little spree, I thought. Uh, got the nice headshot no-scope on that recon there. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, it makes it it makes a one-shot kill for the sniper rifles at any distance to any part of the body. That's kind of ridiculous. It makes sniping pretty easy. And also, if you like using the pump-action shotguns with slugs, it means a one-shot kill to any part of the body at any distance. And that's pretty ridiculous as well. But um, let me know what you guys think about the difference between softcore and hardcore modes in this game. I still prefer softcore mode, but I'm starting to understand why some people enjoy hardcore mode. Um, I was having a lot of fun playing this match, and it's probably the first time I've ever had fun while playing hardcore mode in any first-person shooter. So. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Other than that, this match is about to wrap up. I get that one last kill, and then there's that recon. I miss the snipe, and I go around with my MP443 and get a critical kill assist, but he ends up sniping me with a nice shot on his part. But we did win the match. Um, I went 21-4, and four, which makes for a KDR of 5.25. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did... Leave a thumbs up, a comment would be appreciated as well, and if you want to see more videos like this, you can always come and check out my channel and uh, subscribe for more videos. So, thanks guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye!